Hello viewers, in today's video I will be replacing this solar light that I have on my shed. I've had this for only maybe about a year, but it died recently. It doesn't light up anymore at night. So I'm going to remove this one, and I'll show you the new one I just picked up. Here's a new solar light I just picked up. This is actually a two-pack, so there are actually two inside this box. And it's from the company Lupo Swyton. So let me open this up and I'll show you what these lights look like. Here are the two solar lights. It comes with the installation hardware and the user manual. Now these lights are waterproof. It's IP65 rated. So you can install this outside without any problem. Looking at the front, we have this LED panel. There are 100 LEDs on this panel. And according to the manufacturer, it outputs 2000 lumen. In the middle, we have this passive infrared sensor. It's a motion sensor. So at night, when it detects motion, it will turn on this light. Next to it, there's this tiny pinhole. This is actually the on off switch. So after you install this to activate the solar light, you do need to use the key that's included in this bag, put it into this pinhole and turn on the solar lights. Looking at the top, here we have the solar panel and that's what it uses to charge the internal battery. Also on the top, there is a photo cell. It detects daytime and nighttime. So this light will only activate during nighttime. Here's a look at the back. On the back, it tells you there's a lithium ion rechargeable battery rated at 3600 milliamp power. It takes about eight hours to fully charge the battery. And the lifespan of the battery is about 5,000 hours. Now installation is very simple. There are only two holes at the top here. That's what you'll use to mount this onto a wall surface. Removing this old unit is very simple. Just lift this up. And now I need to remove these screws. Mark the two holes where you've been installing the two screws. Drill the hole. Install the screw. Take this key that came with the unit, put it into this pinhole. And push a switch inside to turn it on. Now if you want to do a quick test during the daytime to make sure it works, get a piece of cardboard and cover the solar panel at the top. You'll see the LED light panel turn on. Here's a look at the solar light at night. As you can see, it's off right now. I'm gonna move around to activate the motion sensor and then you'll see the light turn on. Now I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you can see the area that's being illuminated directly in front of the shed. Here's a look from the side. Now the light will turn off automatically after about 40 seconds, but it will turn on again once it detects motion. Okay. With this light on, you can see this whole area is well lit. As you can see, this solar light works very well. With the 100 LED, it's able to illuminate the area directly in front of it. Being a solar unit, you don't have to worry about running wires to it or having to replace any alkaline batteries. With the motion sensor, it'll only activate the light when somebody walk in front of it. And that'll also help save battery life. Now don't forget this unit comes in a two pack. So you do have a second one you can install anywhere around the house. Now I bought this on Amazon. If you want to check it out, I will include the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy watching this video and don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.